My name is Gary Bredo, and I'm a documentary filmmaker and an entrepreneur. The economy is in less than perfect shape, and when the jobs go away, there's nothing left to do but get up and get creative. And there are people all over America doing just that. It's estimated that up to 85% of new businesses fail, so I'm going coast to coast to hear the personal stories of the people who beat the odds and started a successful business from the ground up. This is Startup. The entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well. In Walsh College's business launch entrepreneurial community, consultants provide advice to aspiring business starters. More information available online. The Chevrolet Volt, an everyday electric car with gas for longer trips. The nature of things to come. Oh, Chevrolet, find new roads. American Express is proud to support Startup and the millions of small businesses that put in the hard work to be open for business in neighborhoods across the country. I'm on North 76th Street in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're gonna go in and talk to Ray, the owner of Ray's Indoor Bike Park. We're gonna find out exactly how much courage it took for him to build his own field of dreams in the form of a world-class business and an indoor bike park. Mountain biking is the sport of riding bicycles off-road, often over rough terrain using a specifically designed mountain bike. Although they share similarities with other bikes, they incorporate features designed to enhance durability and performance in rough terrain. Ray was tired of not being able to ride his bike all winter, so he created an indoor solution that has all the characteristics of outdoor riding without the seasonal restrictions. I was sitting in uh, my local bar one day and a guy rode in on a mountain bike. I was about 28 years old. Okay. And um, I was intrigued by it. It had these shocks and all these bright colors and it was right. just, it just made me feel like a kid again. Yeah. So uh, I looked at a magazine he had brought in and. Um, I didn't know it, but some life-changing events were going to happen, and I needed to um, sober up. So I went to AA and sobered up and started riding my bicycle. Fell in love with that. When wintertime came one year, I got really depressed. Okay. And I was like, why couldn't you build a bunch of stuff indoors in an old factory yep. and ride your bike? A, I called the first ad. It said, clean space, low rent. I called it. I got this little lady on the phone, her name was Susie. I told Susie, she says, I think it's awesome. I got the perfect space for you. I thought about it for a couple days and I went back and saw her and I said, I don't have any money to pay your rent. I got, I need all the money to build it. And she yeah. said, well, if it works, she goes, I'll give you the first year for free. Wow. And I need you to, but I needed to fix up the building. A, yeah, yeah. a lot of the she expense wasn't giving was giving you any uh, tenant lease improvements. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So I looked at, how much plastic I had in my wallet, my equity in my house, mm -hmm. everything. And I said to myself, I'm like, how can I live with myself the rest of my life if I don't do this? What does a place like this do for a rider? There's just tons of, I can't explain it. There's something about it that just takes you back to this time when bikes were really, really fun. Like sometimes when you're riding BMX in competition, you, mm -hmm. you're really trying to push yourself and you have this objective of what you want to accomplish. And here, there's so much to ride. I just laugh my head off like I'm 10 years old riding over a teeter-totter, you know? For the first five years that the park was open, no bank would loan me money. So uh, I'd go, when I'd run short, I'd go borrow 15 or 20 grand from my mom. And when I would reopen the park in the fall, I'd be able to pay her back. Um, I carried a lot of debt, tons of debt. The interest I paid is just insane. Insurance liabilities for extreme sports parks vary from state to state, but can cost up to $10,000 annually with a $1 million deductible. What was your credit like? Did she even check that when she was giving you the lease? No, she's the most wow. wonderful lady she believed in my enthusiasm. Yeah. And she was like, she had this building that nobody had rented in years. There was, the, the roof was leaking, there was a lake in the middle of this place, and she's like, it ain't pretty, but right. it's you can you do it here. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I just sat there and just said, 
what am I going to do? What am I going to build? What am I going to, I had no clue. All right, so, so tell me about the actual park itself, right? Like the construction, the design, um, what's the point of all this stuff? It's designed to be progressive. So we have an area that's basically just painted trails on the floor. Okay. And that's where we send the people who aren't sure if they can do it. Somebody comes in off the street, they're not a cycling enthusiast. Right. So if they can navigate that, then we have a next level, which we call the beginner room. Okay. And it's basically, we're, we're, we're in the beginner area now where everything is pretty much built right on the floor. So that if somebody would ride off of it, there's, there's little or no risk yeah. chance that they're going to get hurt. All right. So what is this uh, interesting contraption here? This is our latest contraption. It's called a hamster wheel. Okay. And you ride into one side and then you make it spin with the actions of the bicycle and then you ride out the other side. As a business model, does this, does this work? Financially, I mean, how how does this work as a business? It it is it is in the black. Okay. It's it's not the next um, big money maker. Yeah. It's 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 enthusiast driven. It's sure. for the love of it. Um, I'm thrilled that it stays in the black and that uh, you know it 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 provides me with a living. In 2013, 18.7 million bikes sold, up three million from 2012. I had this opportunity to live a dream, and I was like, so what's the worst thing that happens? I lose my house, I can recover. Half of my friends thought I was nuts and told me, dude, you're out of your mind, don't do it. And the other half came and helped me. The and, real friends. Yeah, and they came yeah. and volunteered, and yep. they would come after work and build things and paint and sweep, change light bulbs. People came in and helped me, would bring me pictures they found off the internet. They're like, look, we should build this. And then we had a big board up on the wall, and we would put like all of these photos up there and then we'd be like this would look cool there and this would look cool here and it was basically a big experiment every year we close in the summertime because everybody rides their bikes outside sure and we and we would remodel the park yep. and then offer a new product in the fall have a big grand opening party so at the end of the day what it sounds like is that the what if i don't was a lot harder to swallow than the what if i do sort of thing sitting yeah. at the end of your life saying god you know yeah. You know, what if, what if I don't do this? That's yeah. a lot harder to take. I've seen the downside. I've seen pretty bad times. Sure. So I'm like, why not? What have I got to lose? So it doesn't matter what stage you're in in life. If you have a dream, you need to set your fears aside and jump right in. That's what Ray did. <laughs> For more information, log on to our website and click the link for Ray's. What, what, uh, what do you call organic food? What did they call organic food in 1950? No idea. Food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. American Express is proud to support Startup and the millions of small businesses that put in the hard work to be open for business in neighborhoods across the country. The Chevrolet Volt, an everyday electric car with gas for longer trips. The nature of things to come. Oh, Chevrolet, find new roads. The entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well. In Walsh College's business launch entrepreneurial community, consultants provide advice to aspiring business starters. More information available online.